everyone, my name is Steven and welcome to Bricks, Blocks and Mocks. For today's video, we're gonna go behind the build of this Mazda RX-7 in LEGO. With working pop-up headlights. But before we do that, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this and haven't already. And if you want to support me even more so I can keep doing this, I really encourage you to check out my website where I sell instructions for most of my models, including this. There's also a free parts list for all the models available so you can check the price or order the parts before you actually get the instructions and there's also a video tutorial showing you exactly how to do that. Anyway, now over to today's video. Alright, so I didn't want to feel too much in the beginning as I already done that one time before and that time I didn't manage to figure out the pop-up headlights. But this time I think I have actually. And before I show you this pop-up headlight, I just want to say that it looks a bit too flat now. I really wanted to keep it very very low, but yeah, it just turned out a bit too plain the hood and it is a bit too low anyway compared to the blueprint. So I'm gonna raise that a bit and add some cheese slopes like so something like this here and then maybe angle the hood a bit. But over to the pop-up headlights, they are a bit tricky to like open that I will also figure out a better way. Yes, something like that. And yeah, again, it uses my two-point hinge technique. I don't really like the look of the headlights themselves as of now, so I will try to find a different solution for that. Also, now I destroy this, but really like this thing, where from the she slopes, it kind of goes over to a five stub width here to work with the headlights. But I'm gonna keep on building and we will see where we land. Alright, so now kinda finished the front. I'm not super happy with it. I think it looks a little bit too thick now. And yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of the curvature here at the front. And also this front grille, which looks a little bit too plain. The pop-up headlights though works pretty good now. First, I want to figure out a way to pop them up with a button here in the interior. Kinda like I did with a Countach. But yeah, just wasn't able to figure that out. Also would have liked the lights to look like this instead, but then they became a bit too long and wouldn't fit inside, unfortunately. And yeah, these working pop-up headlights have just been so incredibly hard to figure out. The biggest difference with RX-7 compared to other models I've done with working pop-up headlights is that this only is two studs long here at the front instead of three studs, which gave me a lot less space. A bit of function behind them, it wasn't actually necessary in the end to use my two-point hinge technique for this, but they're still using these robotic arms, but kind of locked them in position using these one by one round modified tiles with a bar sticking up. So they basically would only hinge in one uh, hinge point or whatever. And also made a black hood, which I might go with actually. The side plates was also a pain to figure out how to attach and not interfere too much with the headlights. I don't know, the thing I'm most happy with so far is that it looks pretty rounded. I think the white balance is gonna be a bit all over the place for this. So, came up with a bit of a door design and yeah, I will show you. So of course we have a door design here. And when you go with this solution and you have this type of hinge piece and when the door is a bit thicker, they usually tend to get a bit stuck here. This air vent on the side, like this here, was really tricky to create and I'm not too happy with this solution. Then I also found a solution to kind of angle these pieces a bit like this. And yeah, that just made the front look a little bit better in my opinion. Still not super happy with it and looks a little bit less flat now because I was able to change out this 1x4 tile. So yeah. To be honest, I was a bit skeptical about this first, but now with the roof line added, I think it's gonna turn out pretty good in the end. So, had a bit of an issue with the rear windscreen as it is very curved. There aren't really any Lego windscreen pieces that kind of 
fits this particular shape. I came up with a solution to use curved slopes that are a bit tilted with some hinge pieces and those hinge pieces are offset a bit with these type of modified one by one plates. Also first intended to use this classic speed champions windscreen piece but in the end I noticed that the roof kind of had to be five studs wide instead of six studs which of course this is. So ended up using bar pieces which I think just looks better anyway. But these bar pieces sit a little bit too straight in my opinion. I would have liked them to be a bit tilted this way. But of course these slopes are kind of in the way. We also have these B pillars I think. Yeah they are B pillars. They are sitting on the jumper plate and are a bit tilted using these modified bar pieces with the stuff. And the roof is also slightly tilted using like a bar piece and yeah. Use it. And as you might be able to see, I of course want to be able to fit mini face inside as well, which it does. And lastly, I added a spoiler just to see a bit how it will look. And yeah, now I think this is starting to actually look good. <laughs> Alright, so the RX-7 is finally done and I'm really happy with the result actually. I went a pretty simple route with the rear, it looks a little bit too thin, but I think it still looks really really awesome. It's made up of a lot of basic snuff techniques, a bit upside down, a bit just on the side, and a combination with brackets of course to get the distances right, which I covered a bit more in depth in my period piece video. We also have this big exhaust and the spoiler also looks really nice. This interior also became pretty detailed and made a bit of a different seat design. Of course still have the working pop-up headlights which I just yeah I'm so happy with this especially as I have wanted to come up with that for so long now and of course it still has open mode doors which is always nice but yeah should have instructions for this out now actually this has been such a requested car so just went ahead and made instructions for this immediately so that should be out on my website now link in the description as always and of course that supports me a lot to be able to keep doing this but yeah that's all it for today don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this and bye for now.